This is Poindexter's Pointers to Fighting. I'm Poindexter, Drew. What up? And this is our pointer. So the pointer today is be careful what weapons you carry on you and know what weapons you carry on you. I'm gonna start this off with a disclaimer. We live in California, so we know California law. We don't know law in other states. So pretty much what we're discussing today is about weapons and we want to make sure that uh, you check with your own state's laws and your own county laws and make sure you know what you can carry. So and I'll put that in the credits. I'll put it in the bottom also. So we're covered. Yeah. So there are a lot of weapons that you can carry on you. Uh, you can carry stun guns, knives, uh, tasers if you have the permit to carry a taser. Uh, knives, you have to, they, they can't be concealed. You have to be able to see the clip and there's a length limit. But the big deal here is if you're carrying things like that, also pepper spray, things like that, first take a class if you can on how to use them. And then second, use the common sense that if you carry something on you and a situation happens where you might have to use it, don't carry something that you can't use. Like don't carry a knife and then you get in a fight with someone and they see the knife and you are afraid to use it and they take it and stab you with it. So what do you think about that? Right. Don't, uh, you just gotta be, if you are gonna use that, there's a couple of things, right? Like, you know, again, common sense, survival, you know, don't get too close to nobody. So they can overpower you, take it from you, you know, mm -hmm. cut you open, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, but, when it comes to self-defense and that sort of thing, I think it's always best to kind of, you know, use that as a reasonable means to prevent them from hurting you, period. It's not only, for, obviously, but you only employ those things or use those things because you don't want them to actually hurt you, but you don't want to seriously injure them. That's why they call it non-lethal. Like, yeah, it might burn like the son of a gun, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. couldn't kill you. Yeah. You know, when I was active duty in the 90s, they sprayed us with pepper spray. It burned to high heavens for about an hour straight. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I was like, yo, you just gotta give it time. I just kept flushing my eyes, man. I have heard stories about how it messes up your taste buds for days and because it gets on your nasals. And no, it, it don't mess up my taste buds. I got uh. a palate of a saltwater crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Everything tastes good to me, but well, I've been tasered. I'm gonna post that video also, and uh, yeah, it's non lethal. I wasn't, but it's horrible. He only they tasered me. Uh, I voluntarily got tasered sure. at my security company sure. for legal purposes, and it was not fun. He only did it for three seconds, right? And that three seconds was the longest three seconds of my <laughs> life. Uh, and you'll see when you when you watch the video, I'm like, oh. Stop, stop, stop! Because it was painful. Right. But you're not gonna die from that. You just you just lock up and you feel helpless because right. you can't move. Right. And it's like a bunch of needles all stinging you over and over and over and over. Right. I couldn't believe it was three seconds. It felt like it was a whole minute. Right. It, it's horrible. Right. Uh but yeah, it's 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 also something where you wanna you wanna take classes so you have know-how if you're gonna use them. But as he said, man, don't don't let people get close to you in the first place right. where you think that you might get overpowered. Right. Uh, I gave I gave my wife pepper spray. Right. But when I asked her one time, would you ever actually use it? She said, I might not even think of it. Well, then I gotta take that back because right. somebody else might think of it. And they grab it and hit you with it. Now you're the one that had the weapon that got used on you. Right. So it's just common sense. If you carry a knife, can you cut somebody? Can you really stab somebody? If you don't have that kind of mind, that kind of that kind of sack to do something like that, don't carry a knife. Just don't do it. It doesn't make sense to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually rarely see anyone pull a knife on anyone. Um, I carry one for work. I carry a baton. I carry a knife, baton, pepper spray, handcuffs because I do security here and there, and, and we're both bouncers, so we do so we carry some weapons. But those are all things that we use with permits and class behind us. Right. And we have the mindset to use them if it's necessary. But if you're just a regular civilian, check the laws in your state. We're not talking about guns. This is all 
no guns. No, you, you, yeah, you, you check on your own guns. Even though a knife can be lethal most of the time, but with the length limit, mm -hmm. unless you're hitting exactly the right spot, you're not going to kill nobody with that either. So the main thing, one, know what weapons you can carry. Two, don't carry anything that you would not use. That's it. And uh, take that into consideration. Check the laws in your state to know what you can carry. Right. And that's it. Like and subscribe. Holla at your boys. Peace.